Hello and welcome to the Trevor Priest's channel. Today I'm going to be talking more about my A-level sixth form experience. I'm going to be talking about what sociology was like at A-level. I'll be doing this for my other subject as well. I have done this for year 12, but obviously I've done year 13 now, so I feel like I I can talk about these subjects a lot more confidently and I have a lot more to say and obviously year 12 and year 13 are a lot different. Okay, so year 12 sociology, I loved, absolutely love sociology year 12. Um, if you're interested in that video, then please click on that video. But um, particularly year 13, um, what we learned about was um, crime and deviance and globalisation, which was OCR. That's the exam board, OCR. Uh, crime and deviance was just about how um, crime affects different um, groups of people, ethnic groups, women, um, young people, all of that. It's really good, it's really interesting. Um, how crime statistics are manipulated, um, some real life case studies, and that's, that's the crime and deviance, which is quite a big section of paper three, which is your 13 content. Um, the other section, which is quite a small section, is globalization and the digital world and basically just talking about the different ways um, globalization affects the world um, so that's really interesting all the different types is really small if you buy the OCR revision guides that I recommend um, they're, they're really the unit is really short in there um, and just talks about the different theories again um, like Marxism and functionalism on crime and deviance socialism and Marxism and like feminists on globalization and the effects, negatives and positives, um, you know, how identities have been lost. Well, for the OCI example, you ha I had three exams, um, year 12, um, paper one, which was um, identity, I can't remember, identity, family, and like culture, that's paper one, component one, which is year 12. The second one is social inequalities and research methods, that's year 12. And then paper three, which is year 13, component three, um, crime and deviance and globalization. Um, how the paper is set out, it is, and you can go online, of course, um, there's two years series of exam papers you can look at. Six questions, three for crime and deviance and three for globalization. The first part of globalization, which is really nice, it starts you off with a source. It's a nine marker, 10 marker, 16 marker, which is crime, uh, globalization, digital world. Then crime and deviance, which is obviously the bigger unit, like I said, is a 10 marker, a 20 marker, and a 40 marker. You only get two 40 markers in sociology. That's paper one, uh, paper two, and paper three. So it's quite nice, but 40 marks. Not my teacher said, if you don't know the question, then you are pretty screwed if you don't know that. But I really recommend you taking sociology. It's so interesting. I've learned so much. It's opened my eyes to issues in the world. That I didn't even know existed it makes me want to change, you know, um, things that happen in the world. But yeah, the paper for me, paper three in particular, sociology was really good. Uh, paper, the last question was okay, but I wrote um, quite a lot, all the questions. Um, like I said about globalization, it gives you a source and you have to analyze the sources. Like using the, the source, what does it say? You have to pick up points. And then the second question is like using the source and your wider knowledge, blah, blah, blah. It's quite a nice question. So questions what I got are how um, globalisation is affecting um, like culture or something like that. I can't actually remember. And then the last, the big question, which was the 40 mark on crime, was about how like, functionalist views on crime and deviance, which is a very open question, which is quite nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my, my main tips for A-level sociology is to use theories, sociologists, facts and statistics and case studies to them five things is a must for you to get a good grade. I know I haven't got my grade back, but that's what I've done throughout the two years. And I've got good grades throughout the two years. My teachers, you know, said that's good. So that's what you need to focus on. Make sure you know the, the basis, the foundations of all the theories, like the functionalist Marxist, um, neo-Marxist, uh, feminist. Remember there's different feminists. There's um, Marxist feminist, uh, radical, liberal feminist. So including those in your exams, in your answers, will benefit you so knowing all them and you know what they stand for and their you know sound each issue sociologists you know just to back your work up because 
If you don't, then you can't get a very good grade. You need to back up points. Like, oh, this person said, I Anna Clee. If you learn Anna Clee and you know her, then you know how much she's, oh, I love her so much. Just what she said, and it's just so easy to like include that in your work. And I can talk about her for like, for ages. Um, and like Mark, Max Weber, I think his name is, and like all these people. These facts and statistics, so, you know, one in five people, whatever, or 40%, whatever, using stats from ONS statistics, the government website, will honestly help you so much. Um, you know how many statistics I remember from my exams. I remember loads, you know, like 40% of ethnic minority groups are in poverty. I still remember that. I put it on posters, I put it in like a red around my, my bathroom and stuff, and like little posters, sticky notes and stuff, just to, you know, help me remember it. I hope this video has been useful. Please, if you have any questions, then don't hesitate to message me, comment, whatever. Um, you know I'm always you know happy to help. Um, but please give this like a video a like and please subscribe and all the rest. Love you so much. Thank you.